Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. In this video, I want to show you how to add an event on Google Calendar on your desktop. So there are two ways to do it. The first would be on the left-hand side of your screen, there's a plus button with a create. If you're in Google Calendar and you're trying to create an event like a doctor's appointment, a task, or a reminder, or an upcoming meeting, you can go ahead and click on the create button on the left-hand corner. You can then decide if it's an event, a task, or if you have a premium feature of Google, you may also have access to creating a shareable appointment page, which is also a really awesome tool that you could use. But if you're just looking to create an event, I can click on event, and then I'll be given this here. So I can go ahead and add a title, and then I can change the date and time. Let's say I'd like this meeting to be on Saturday, and it's going to be at 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. I can also choose a time zone. By choosing a time zone, that's what that event will be in my time zone. It'll show up differently for other people's time zones, which is very useful. So I'm going to choose my time zone and click OK. That way it'll show up in the appropriate time zone for other people. I can then go ahead and add guests add a Google meeting, a location, description, et cetera, et cetera. When I'm ready, I can click save at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and voila, how to create an event on Google Calendar on the desktop. The other way that you can add an event is by simply double-clicking on the date and time on your calendar that you would like to create this event. So if I'm in calendar view here, which you could change your views up here on the right-hand corner, but on my calendar view here, I would like my event to be Tonight at six o'clock, I can double click here and voila, the event is then here where you can add the details to the event. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and like this video, share it out with anyone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our tech tips. See you in the next video.